right, we just got back from walking the dog and I did a little delivery from Walmart. We needed some laundry detergent and something for the kitchen. All right, so if you guys can't tell, I am obsessed with delivery services and especially there's a Walmart like right down the street from our house, but sometimes on the weekends when we're busy doing fun activities, going outside, taking care of things around the house. It's nice just to be able to get some household essentials delivered right to the house. So I have been using this Persil Pro Clean with Oxy and I love it. So this laundry detergent has quickly become a part of our weekend and a staple that is when we do all of our laundry and it's great because especially if you have kids or animals um it's really good for fighting stains it brightens your whites it leaves kind of like a nice long lasting smell that's really clean and it also comes in like little discs if you prefer that style so i'm going to get started on some laundry but this is really good for all of our stuff after a workout you guys know we work out like five days a week even on the weekends um taking the dog out like he's always splashing mud on us when we go on our weekend walks um literally any activity that you have this is going to take care of the like visible dirt and stains so gonna start a load So what's great about it is that it also it gives a really really deep clean for laundry and you can use it in any temperature so you could wash if you have to wash things in cold water it's still going to provide just as deep of a clean as like if you were in warm water because sometimes I feel like the clean is deeper but that's why I always do warm but with cold it still really gets everything out which is so nice and like I said it also brightens even white so I feel like it's just a all-in-one detergent that is so good for literally all of your laundry anyways wanted to share this detergent just because I know you guys love laundry tips and really just makes our weekend routine for laundry and everything so much easier don't have to worry about special treating any clothes or anything it's just a ride or die okay going down today Christmas tree is going up ripping off the band-aid I think 2020 calls for early Christmas decor so we're just gonna start to get things out I wouldn't say this is like a full decorating video but we're doing some things so um we're at least gonna get the tree out and maybe put up the garland just get out the decor kind of put away some of the fall stuff and get it going because it's time it is time okay so hunter's been plopping his curly hair because we're trying to figure out his curls i was but plopping it this. in a beanie so this isn't wait a come over to plopping. the window because we need to show them Ugh. what's going on with these curls i mean we didn't know if he's doing the plopping right but i have my ear pods in so i can hardly hear but okay. i was showing julia that i was plopping my hair in my beanie i just like plopped it up and put my beanie on let yeah. it dry but a couple pieces fell out and were air drying. So like a few pieces, a few strands had fallen out. Everything else was in the beanie. This was all in the beanie. The few pieces that fell out that were air drying are those are pieces. Those. It's like look how much more curly. But I also are. told him that underneath the hair is curlier. Usually they're like more curly underneath. Which is crazy how those like so, formed. I think you should do really a lot nicely. of trial and error. You should try First is these. not doing I don't know how loud I'm talking right now because I have... Yeah, yeah, I don't think you can hear me because you keep going. AirPods in? What? What? <laughs> Are you almost done? I'm done. Because I need it's to, exploring. like you said, I can't do anything, so. You can do. I'm like stuck. You can do whatever you want. But I know, I'm my truck's in there, and like I just don't. Yeah. Okay, if you could just get the garland out for me, I can start on that. I want to do the garland. That looks good there still. Yeah, it's okay. Um, where's the garland up in the attic? I think it's in the bag of the thing. Why'd you take that thing off? Don't, don't, don't. I'm gonna put it back on. I went on a walk, so. How was your walk? It was fine. It was fine? Yeah. Where did y'all go? We went around the pond, like the normal loop. What? Oh. Oh, you did in the normal loop? I just want to get going. I've been let's waiting go, let's for like going. ever. Yeah. Okay, for you.
probably in that one. Should we just rest it on there? What do you want? I want to get the garland out of this. I think it, it's in there. Are you sure it's not up there? I checked. I went up there. It's not up there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we put it in this bag. I think it's and in there. We could the, have put the bigger pieces in here and then the remainder, right? Wait, I think all of them. Because the white tree is up there, I looked. Let me grab the white tree real quick. If you want, but. What, what's the order of events? I, I'm kind of wondering. We're putting up. We're just, put, we're just getting the tree in there and we can put up the tree. We don't have to decorate it. We're just putting it up. We just, oh, we're putting the tree up. We're just putting it up. We're not like doing the whole thing, you know? Are we going in? One of the things I want to do this year, I didn't like how plain my garland looked last year. 
So I have these uh, eucalyptus garlands from our fall home decor haul. These are from Amazon and I'm going to layer them. With just actually attach them with zip ties to kind of like make it fuller and feel a little bit more, I don't know. I think it's just gonna make it look better. So let's try this. Like literally the easiest thing ever. Zip ties. Okay. See how much better it looks? Now I'm going to fluff this completely because I feel like that takes a lot of time, but it looks so much better when you like really pull all the pieces out and I feel like I didn't do that last year so I didn't have enough patience but especially with this I want it to look really bomb so that means pulling out all the leaves to make sure that they're not all bent in from being stored or whatever you want to like fluff them and it just looks nice and wide and full. So, I'm gonna do that. this yeah it, i think we did we, we were thinking about it last year we didn't but we thought the subtlety of it is like nice i know i think so too just like a glow i just feel like something's off about sometimes there are christmas stuff and i'm like what is it is it like we're not doing something right oh that's cute it's cute looks good yeah you did a good job how'd you tie them up top zip ties maybe no but where did you connect it command hooks one center, one here, one there. Baller. They're the best. My my baby's balling with the zip ties, command hooks, feeling proud. Yeah, I love that trick. <laughs> I learned it from somebody else. You can't take credit. We just got the tree up and turned it on and got the got the garland up. And one of like the little sticky pieces came undone and so I put a nail in on the mantle. That'll, that'll keep it sturdy. But we're done decorating for today, right? Don't you think? I think so. I just wanted to get like the tree up. I think it's actually nicer doing it in like small increments and just like pulling out little things, things at a time. Kind of yeah. keeps it clean that way and too. And it's not less overwhelming. Less messy, less overwhelming, exactly. Yeah. But we're now doing some work as well as discussing our bathroom renovation, which I know we've teased before on Instagram. We've talked a little bit about on YouTube. But that's starting actually, here in the next couple of days. And it's actually better that it got delayed because now we can get some of the materials ordered and mm -hmm. have it here for him to start when it's time to start. So right. we're going to be looking at some stuff like that, making some decisions on hardware for our shower head, like the shower uh, valve and uh, knob or whatever you call it. Yeah. Handle. And also uh, hardware for the sinks when you pick that out. We need, right. we're basically providing all okay. the materials. Yeah, I know. We need to, we need to uh, decide on our flooring for our bedroom. Exactly. Yeah. And, yeah. and I know we're going a certain route, mm -hmm. but there's a couple that I want to show you. Okay. Um, we also need to make a decision on the faucets for our sinks, as well yeah. as the sink itself. Yes. Okay. I want to find like a bowl. stone or a bowl or something like that. Mm -hmm. So, got a little bit of work to do, working on that now. And we'll probably, we were going to go to dinner tonight, but you want to just like... Order in, I think, because we have lots to do. I think it's order better. In. We might do sauced, which I think we should once before. So good, yeah. But just some pizza and some salad. It's really good, like, thin crust pizza. It, it's not like the most healthy meal, but I feel like okay. this pizza is like a healthier pizza than... Yeah, I mean, else. I think it's like fresh it's like ingredients. More fresh ingredients. At least we tell ourselves that. It's good. And they have good salads and it's a chain. So I think they should have it. They have it a couple 
we get a couple cities and it's yeah. really good and we can get on Uber Eats, so that's the best part. We're gonna call that in and just kinda hang tight and enter the week prepared. Yeah. Rather than go out, kill a bunch of, like kill two and, yeah. hours. So. I think we start to take care of tasks so and yeah. we get set up for the week. We're gonna make a schedule, we're gonna be organized. So we're going to get to work and get organized. Okay. Alright. Okay. I am focusing on I pulled time. up um all of this, by the way. Which route are you thinking? delivered and salads. So we get the vegetable salads, side of ranch, actually side of ranch and one pepperoni pizza. And it's so good. Really delicious. Well done. So nice. Just come to toe? Yeah. That's the worst feeling. How'd you hit it on? The freaking crap. I forgot to get two sides of ranch, so. Okay. Can we get plates? Uh, we're gonna get our salad. I think I'm just gonna eat in this smidgy. It's not gonna do it this year. Well, I guess we did it enough. There's plenty of ranch. Yeah. I don't think so. I'll feed them. You want ranch? I'm gonna do like a little bit of ranch. Uber Eats is like literally the best thing I've ever discovered. We've always known it was there, but we just never yeah, did it. Yeah, but I also don't think like until we were getting more stuff near our house that it didn't we really- didn't deliver it. Mm -mm. And it's just like the most genius creation. And we can even start ordering some from market and Whole Foods like I know. groceries. Because Amazon Prime is how we have to order Whole Foods because it's, well, it's mm -hmm. on my Amazon. You just have to put it um, in the area, like, just, yeah. And a lot of people think, like, oh, well, y'all know y'all can do this right, but there's a lot we can't do because of the area we live in, so. Right. We live, like, a little bit further out. A little out. further out that doesn't go over here. That's right. All right, it's a later after dinner. Goose, you have taken over my bed. And Hunter is um, watching some football, doing some emails, and I'm gonna um, just get in bed early till he gets here, kind of relax. Sorry, babe. I'm gonna need you to scoot over because I gotta get to my bed. Okay? You can still lay with me. I just gotta get in dinner. Not making much progress with the dog here, are we? Goozer. Why are you so tired? I took you on your walk today, but you didn't run that much. Okay, I'm just gonna scoot your tush. Oh, there we go. Perfect, Goose. That's absolutely perfect. Oh. <laughs> Goose. You are phonies. You are so super phony. And I love you for it. All right. Oh, last. Okay, so what I've been doing is, is, is everything okay with you? I'm confused. You weirdo. Are you just like super chill? All right, whatever. Whatever floats your boat, okay. Um, I've been really into my Amber Lewis book, Made for Living. She is my favorite interior designer, and 
she wrote a book and I'm just loving reading through it obviously like it's just her style and it comes naturally but um, it's fun learning any tips that she can give about you know I don't know just like what things work together or how things what she likes and doesn't like um, there's obviously no rules of design but um, yeah I don't know it's always helpful like picking up little tips like it's just like if you're into makeup you can always learn from other makeup artists um, when you you know see an outfit you get ideas so I'm like loving reading through the book and getting all of her like tips and it makes me like want to learn more about interior design um, not like obviously I think interior design you kind of have to like it ha kind of has to come naturally but I think you can probably learn things things that I would want to learn would be you know spacing scale like furniture how big it should be compared to certain spaces like you can use your eye to kind of guess but like you know ru like kind of uh, rugs like you know how big should they be um, how much space should be in between like a counter and a couch and like you know little things like that anyways so I'm enjoying this I bought it on Amazon I've seen it in some interior decor stores but I'm just gonna read a few pages of this and I really love listening to her talk so that's what I'm gonna do her stuff is so pretty Ugh. if I could like I mean hire her to do my house I don't like like every single thing she does but like most of it would be so cool to like work with her on my house but I don't think I could ever hire an interior designer because I would want to like design it you know what I mean I'd be like I want to know what you do but then I'm gonna tweak a few things you know um anyways so I'm gonna do that for a bit Hey mm -hmm.